So it's not over yet if you live in one of the 23,000 households where a boil water advisory has been issued by WSSC in Prince George's County. Take a good look at this map. If you live in those shaded areas there, you should be prepared to take precautions with your water through at least tomorrow. This is the first time since 2014 that the Washington Suburban Sanitary Commission has called for a boil water order. Here's Scott Broom to bring us up to speed. Here on Indian Head Highway this afternoon, this big three foot in diameter water pipe has been fixed. <laughs> Crews right now behind me are beginning to rebury it in preparation for getting this pipe back up and running. But the possibility of contamination through all of this cannot be ruled out. And until the pipes are all flushed, if you live in a large area from Oxon Hill South and you're a WSSC customer, you are still being asked to boil your water as a precaution at least through tomorrow and maybe longer. We just bought two cases. Hopefully something will change or we'll get another alert that we can use our water again. And asked us to uh, boil our water, but it's just as easy sometimes to go ahead and buy the water, you know, especially for the kids. I, I didn't notice it this morning. So the water looks okay. It the looks water. okay, but just not sure. Precaution. It hasn't happened since 2014. It doesn't happen as often as, as other water main breaks. The problem here was the size of the water main that failed. Here's Luis Maya of the WSSC. We lost pressure on those pipes. Because of that, uh, there is a possibility of contamination in those pipes when we lose pressure like that, which is why as a precaution, we uh, issue these boiled water alerts. Okay, so it's safe to wash clothes or take a shower, for instance, anything where you don't get water in your mouth. On the other hand, drinking it washing fresh vegetables with it, brushing your teeth, things like that are off limits until the WSSC says it's safe or until you boil the water for at least three minutes. The WSSC will notify its customers when the boil water advisory is lifted, which is likely to be sometime tomorrow. Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Northbound Indian Head Highway near Fort Washington Road is still limited to one lane getting by while the repair crew finishes up. It is expected to be fully reopened for tomorrow morning.